BSC first year syllabus in that one of the concept the frame of reference ok so what mean by frame of reference first you have to know that uh, frame of reference if one particle or any object is here ok it is in the empty space at that time you don't know where it is exactly what is the position of the particle ok at that time you have to build a reference to find out the exact position of that particle ok so you are building the reference ok so for reference purpose you have to use the frame for reference purpose you have to use the frame ok so the definition, definition itself says the frame of reference is a system of coordinate axis system of coordinate axis ok you have to consider the coordinate axis x y z system of coordinate axis attached to an observer having a crop with respect to it here at this position observer is here ok having a crop with respect to it observer can describe the position of posi observer can describe the position displacement acceleration of a moving object object is here and this observer can describe the exact position and acceleration displacement of the particle ok here x, y, z are the coordinate points uh, coordinate axis and exact position of this observer you have to find out with this coordinate points using the help of coordinate points it is in the three dimension also you have to find out with the two dimensional and also in one d ok in one dimension you have to use the one coordinate axis the two, two dimension you have to use the two uh, coordinate axis in the three dimension you have to use the three coordinate axis ok so the frame of reference it is system of coordinate axis attached to an observer attached to this observer the coordinate axis are attached to this observer ok having a crop with respect to which observer can describe the position with respect to this crop the coordinate axis he describe the position of this particle acceleration displacement you draw a frame here ok this is the frame of reference already you know that frame of reference ok generally you know that there are two types of frame of reference one is the non inertial frame of reference another one is the inertial frame of reference ok these two are mainly based on the newton's first law that is law of inertia which is obey with the newton's first law that is inertial frame of reference which is not obey with the newton's first law that is non inertial frame of reference but here in the mechanics or in the conservation laws under two type frame of reference we have to learn ok so first one is the laboratory frame of reference and another one is the central mass of frame of reference ok so first one we have to know laboratory frame of reference ok what mean by laboratory frame of reference ok if you are doing your own experiment in the laboratory ok in that experiment you have to find out the exact position of micro particles or like atom or subatomic particles at that time you have to consider a laboratory as a frame of reference ok so what is the definition origin of reference system is a point visible to laboratory origin of reference system is point visible to laboratory if you consider a, a laboratory at that time you have to take a point visibly in that you have to find out the position of this point at that time you have to consider a frame of reference as a laboratory ok this is the laboratory frame of reference in the position acceleration velocity all are measured with respect to lab frames the position and 
acceleration velocity all are measured with respect to lab time okay so already we are learning the conservation laws okay so here this particle due to the under one particle okay so at that time the collision of these two particles will be takes place before and after collision the momentum will be same here next point the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after collision okay it is also measured with the help of laboratory frame of reference okay this is laboratory frame of reference and uh, next one is the center of mass frame of reference okay center of mass frame of reference in that we have to consider the frame of reference as a center point or origin point we have to take a origin point so what mean by center of mass frame of reference origin of reference system is a point rigidly fixed to the center is a point rigidly fixed to the center of mass okay so how it is if you take a one rod okay so the this rod is rotating at that time it takes a position here to here okay the position of the rod will be changes at that time the center point is same here you are you are taking a reference point as a center point okay in this center point the center of mass is concentric okay also you have to take two bodies are moving opposite to each other and they are collided at a point these two bodies collided collided at a point that point also you have to say that center point or center of mass point okay so here position velocity all are measured with respect to center of mass frame okay if you if you want to find out the position of these two points or velocity or acceleration of these two bodies at that time you have to consider the frame of reference as a center point and this one is and this one okay so position velocity all all are measured with respect to center of center of mass frame and next point center of center of mass frame is at rest okay center of mass frame or center of mass is at rest in the center of mass frame of reference is at rest position it is not change and velocity is zero at center of frames okay velocity is constant because it is at rest position it is zero velocity have it and center of frame is called zero momentum frame okay so center of frame it is a zero momentum frame okay because it is it does not move it does not change it is a fixed point okay this is the center of mass frame of reference okay here we learned laboratory frame of reference as well as center of mass frame of reference okay in the examination they will also they will also ask the difference between the laboratory frame of reference as well as center of mass frame of reference at that time you have to write these points as well as laboratory frame of reference points okay thank you